Today, I'm going to go over a few fundamental methods to help you with your videography or cinematography. This short tutorial is for the beginner who wishes to bring their videos to the next level of expertise. Although this is not a comprehensive study in filmmaking, applying this information will guide you to creating a more professional looking video. This tutorial does not cover editing. However, there are many free YouTube videos that you can search for based on what video application you have. There are also free video editing applications available based on your computer and its operating system. I will be covering the following. Camera stabilization using a tripod, three-point lighting, audio capture, and a technique known as the rule of thirds. I'm Richard Mendoza and you're watching the fundamentals of videography. Okay, let's look at the first clip. What would you do to improve it? The name is Thursday. Detective Thursday. I was born on a Monday just before the war. It was then that I knew I'd spend the rest of my life contemplating life's mysteries. You may have noticed a few problems. The video was shaky, so the framing was bad. The sound was a bit hard to hear, and the lighting was not very good. For the lighting, I only used the available light source that was showing through a few of the room's windows. The audio was directly from the camera's built-in microphone. The camera was handheld, and this is a typical setup that beginners will often start with. Okay, let's look at the next clip. Do you notice a difference? The name is Thursday. Detective Thursday. I was born on a Monday just before the war. It was then that I knew I'd spend the rest of my life contemplating life's quirky mysteries. You may have noticed the same problems, however the sound capture was greatly improved. This is due to adding a lapel mic that was attached to the actor. Now let's look at the video clip again, see if you can notice an improvement. The name is Thursday. Detective Thursday. I was born on a Monday just before the war. It was then that I knew I'd spend the rest of my life contemplating life's quirky mysteries. As you may have observed, the camera was steady and provided for a more easy to view video. The actor was framed in the center of the shot so the framing of the scene was good. Also, notice that the framing of the shot provided a bit of space between the top of the frame and the top of the actor's head. This space is called headroom. Before I go any further, I want to quickly explain the stage or the scene and how it was arranged. A black backdrop was used to avoid seeing any unnecessary distractions that would take away from the scene. Actually, behind the backdrop is a big TV, some pictures, and some living room furniture. I used three lights, which is commonly referred to as three-point lighting. Each light serves a purpose. One light is the main light, or the key light. The light opposite of the key light is called the fill light. The fill light helps to reduce the shadow that a key light would produce. And finally, a backlight. A backlight helps to add a silhouette of light around the subject. The backlight also provides a light that separates the subject from the background. All three bulbs are the same temperature and wattage. The temperature of a bulb determines the color hue that is emitted. Consumer video cameras often need sufficient light to record in. Oftentimes, insufficient light will cause a recording to have a grainy look. The quality of the camera's recording depends on the proper lighting. In the scene, the actor is sitting on a chair behind a table, and I added a few props to go with the scene. Now let's have a look at the clip. How is the framing, the sound, the headroom? Of the three lights, which ones do you think are on? The name is Thursday. Detective Thursday. I was born on a Monday, 
just before the war. It was then that I knew I'd spend the rest of my life contemplating life's quirky mysteries. In this clip, we have good sound, proper framing, a steady camera, and the key light was used. Notice that the left side of the actor is well lit. Also, there's a shadow on his right side. A single light setup might be okay with an emotional script, however, we are going to explore more light. Have a look at the next scene. What differences do you see? The name? is Thursday. Detective Thursday. I was born on a Monday just before the war. It was then that I knew I'd spend the rest of my life contemplating life's quirky mysteries. At this point, I have two lights on the talent. The key light is on, and now the fill light is on. You can see that the actor's right side is now illuminated. This additional light adds to the quality of the scene. The fill light should not be brighter than the key light. Sometimes it's necessary to physically move the key light further back or use a less brighter bulb. I could also use a diffuser, but I'll talk more about that later. Now, let's take a look with the final light. The name is Thursday. Detective Thursday. Now I have all three lights applied to the scene. Notice how the backlight is adding a silhouette of light on the actor's head and shoulders. The backlight aids to separate the subject from the background. Since there is sufficient light applied to the scene, the consumer grade camera is able to provide a good recording. Now let's look at the original clip. The name? is Thursday. Detective Thursday. I was born on a Monday just before the war. It was then that I knew I'd spend the rest of my life contemplating life's mysteries. Finally, let's look at the clip in its entirety. This time, I'm going to add something a little different to go along with the mood of the film. What's different? Enter Detective Thursday. A small town private eye who's down on his luck, and it seems his coffee's not so great either. The name is Thursday. Detective Thursday. I was born on a Monday, just before the war. It was then that I knew I'd spend the rest of my life contemplating life's quirky mysteries. It was a late, cold November evening. I'd just spent another afternoon contemplating my pitiful existence. Though Tony's wasn't serving the best coffee in Chicago, they didn't have a mean cannoli. I just started to crack into the dough when she walked in. Did the music support the video? How about the black and white version? Did the film feel different? Let's look at a few short clips. Do your best to quickly discern which combination of lights are on. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, 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 oh,
So how'd you do? If you were at least able to see the subtle differences, congratulations. You have stepped into a new personal level of cinematography. Next, I want to talk to you about the framing tool called the Rule of Thirds. The Rule of Thirds has two vertical lines, two horizontal lines, four intersecting points, three columns, and three rows. The Rule of Thirds is a basic imaginary way to divide a frame into equal parts. As a guideline, the best practice for cinematography is to place a subject so it appears to line up on one of the vertical lines or the center column. Some cameras have a feature that will display the guidelines in a viewfinder to help you place your subject. Next, I'm going to show the equipment that I use for the detective scene. I will also display the approximate cost. You'll see that you don't need the most expensive gear to produce a quality video. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Now go out and shoot like a pro.